In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Slido for polls and quizzes in 2024. So let's get started. So Slido has become a popular tool for live polls, quizzes, Q&A sessions, and audience engagement, particularly in meetings, webinars, and events. So in 2024, Slido continues to be one of the easiest ways to gather real-time input from your audience, whether you're running an online event or engaging a live audience, Slido offers a great platform for interactive participation. So in this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to use Slido for polls and quizzes so you can get started with this versatile tool. So the first thing that you want to do is simply head on to their website, which is slido.com. Now from here, you can simply click on login at the top right if you already have an account. So if you don't have one, simply click on sign up or click here on get started for free. Now we'll be redirected right here in this page where you can log into your account or sign up uh, to your account. So you can either sign up with WebEx or sign up using Google. You can also fill up this information right here to create an account. So now we're just going to sign up with Google. Now it will be redirected to this page. So where will you use Slido? So I'm just going to uh, select work or personal. I'm just going to select personal. Now, how are you planning to use Slido? So you can choose the options right here. But for now, I'm just going to skip it. Now it will ask you what tools you use for work. And again, I'm just going to skip this. What are you hoping to achieve by using Slido? Again, you can just skip this. Now click on go to your dashboard to proceed with our account. Now this is how the dashboard will look like. And now let's start creating our quiz or our polls. So simply click here on create a Slido. Now you want to select the start date and end date and give your Slido a name. So I'm just going to name it as test. Click on create Slido. Now, as you can see, let's just go back. Now you will see your active Slidos right here. So let's just open this. And now from here, we can start adding content to our Slido. So as you can see, there are a bunch of different contents right here, such as audience Q&A, multiple choice. So for quizzes, you can add multiple choice, word cloud, open text, ranking. So ranking is like the pulse or the survey, the rating and quiz. So let's say we want to add a quiz. So I'll click here. Now let's just add the quiz name. Just again, I'm just going to add test. And then what would you like to ask? So I'm just going to ask random questions like Let's say just a basic math question, 20 times 5, and we can add options, say right here 50, and option 2 is 100. That, now we can also add another quiz question right here in the bottom left. And let's just select the correct answer first, this is the correct answer. Now let's click on add another quiz question, so let's say want to add another math question, let's say 5 times 5, let's say the options are 25 and 30, and let's just select the correct answer. Now, as you can see, we can also add new interactions right here by adding on add new interactions, so let's say multiple choice. So let's say uh, the question is, what is what animal is let's say the option for one is dog and two cat that 
you will see this polls right here. So you will see all of the participants who have answered. Before we proceed, let's click on poll settings right here in the top right. And let's mark the correct answer. Now let's mark the dog as correct answer. Add another option. That is the correct answer. And now when we're all done creating our questions, we can now share this quiz or poll to our participants. So just click on share on the top right. And as you can see, you can either copy the link or copy the QR code. So we can just simply copy the link and send it to our participants. So this is how it would look like. So when we open the link, so it, there is no active pause at the moment. So let's just click on start interaction right here in the bottom. Now that it has started, as you can see in the link that you just shared, there is our questions. So let's say let's answer the correct answer, click on send. As you can see, you will see right here all of the participants who have selected the answer. When you go back right here in your dashboard, you can also see that there are some participants who have answered the correct answer. Let's just go back here. Uh, let's say we're going to present this, start interaction. Let's just add our name. Click on join. Now from here in our dashboard, so as you can see, the can't see any questions right here. So first, let's go back to our dashboard and click here on first question. And after that, that will show up in the link that you shared with a timer. Also, you can edit the poll settings to uh, remove the quiz timer or simply add a quiz timer and customize the number of seconds before the timer has ended. Let's answer here that. Now we want to click on reveal answer. As you can see, they will see the correct answer right here. Now let's proceed on the next question. And let's say, let's answer this wrong. Click on send. And let's just wait for it to lock before we can reveal the answer. Now let's reveal the answer. And as you can see, Slido will show them that the answer is incorrect. So that's basically how you can create polls and quizzes live or uh, in your present time by using Slido. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.